Good evening, I'm Rena Nainen. We'll get to the southern storms in a moment. But we begin with a West Wing shakeup heading to the Army Navy football game today. President Trump announced retired Marine General John Kelly is stepping down as his chief of staff by the end of the year. Kelly's replacement will be announced in a day or so. He's about one of 30 high level officials to leave the Trump administration. Nicole Killian has more from the White House. After months of on again, off again speculation, President Trump finally confirmed to reporters his chief of staff, John Kelly, will be leaving by the end of the year. John Kelly will be leaving, but I don't know if I can say retiring, but he's a great guy. The president made the announcement before departing for the Army Navy game in Philadelphia. We'll be announcing who will be taking John's place. It might be on an interim basis. I'll be announcing that over the next day or two. One of the leading contenders to replace Kelly is Nick Ayers. The 36-year-old political strategist currently serves as chief of staff to Vice President Mike Pence and is said to have the support of first daughter Ivanka Trump and her husband Jared Kushner. I was not sent into or brought in to control him. Kelly's eventual departure caps off a tumultuous tenure. He was initially credited with restoring order to the West Wing, but his iron-fisted style drew criticism. In recent days, White House sources told CBS News Kelly's exit was imminent, and he and the president were reportedly not on speaking terms. On the Mueller situation, we're very happy with what we are reading. The president also addressed the fallout from new court filings released Friday by federal prosecutors and the special counsel. One memo says Mr. Trump directed his former lawyer, Michael Cohen, to pay hush money to Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal in violation of campaign finance laws. Another memo charges Paul Manafort, his former campaign chairman, with serial lying. There was no collusion whatsoever. Uh, there never has been. As for those hush money payments, the president was asked whether he directed Cohen to violate the law. The president repeatedly replied, no. Rena? Nicole, in addition to news of his chief of staff, the president also made another staffing announcement. That's right. The president said that he is nominating General Mark Milley to become the next chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. He would replace Marine General Joseph Dunford. Milley is actually the chief of staff of the Army, and the president made an appearance with him at the Army-Navy game this afternoon. He is to the president's right. He called Milley a great gentleman and a patriot and said his transition date is to be determined. Rena? Nicole Killian at the White House. Thank you, Nicole.